Fellow Hyrulean, this is Alex Becker, CEO of Hyros. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to scale your ads much further using the data in Hyros. It would shock me, it would appall me, it would be weird to me if you're not able to scale at least another 10, 20%. I've seen people double their business using this, and this is not me exaggerating because if you don't know, I originally designed Hyros for my businesses because I couldn't scale them because attribution was wrong. I, I didn't know where the sales were coming from. So I was scaling the wrong thing, turning off the right thing. And by doing this, if you turn off an ad that's scaling and making you money, you stop making that money and you stop scaling. And if you turn up an ad that's not making you money, you lose money and thus your scale gets ruined. This is, this is pretty common sense stuff. But I'm gonna show you a lot of data inside your dashboard you can use and some really advanced tactics as well that you can use to basically, easily, without changing anything in your business, scale your ads further simply by making better, more accurate decisions that increase the money you're making from high ROI ads and decrease the amount of money you're spending on low ROI ads, at least to the point where they are profitable. That's it. This allowed me to scale to $25,000 a day in ad spend, grow one of my businesses past eight figures. I'm using the exact same principles as scale Hyros and our ads. And as you know, Hyros is doing pretty well. So that being said, we're gonna hop into it. I'm gonna show you this advanced tactic for scaling. And if you're not already a Hyros member, you should go below, maybe book a call, see what we do. It's a good way to make more money. We guarantee the results. If you don't see an increase in your ROI and scale, you don't pay for it. So. You check this out, it's pretty cool. Let's hop into it. Okay guys, so what I wanna show you in this video is the basic, most simple way to get absolutely outrageous results scaling with Hyros. If you just do this, you're going to see 80% of the results. I've seen people triple their ad accounts, I've seen my business triple its results, and that's it. So I'm gonna focus on this first. That being said, for specific scaling tactics for call funnels, e-commerce businesses, I've also made some videos below that you can check out as well because I want the whole entire spectrum to be covered. And I'm also gonna into some really advanced tactics in this video, so hang around till the last uh, first lesson. But here's the most important thing right here. So we're looking inside my ad manager right now, an account I was having a lot of trouble scaling. This is a business I actually scaled past $15,000, $25,000 a day in ad spend uh, across all of our ad platforms. And I'll show you exactly damn why, okay? So if we look at this, this cost on these specific dates right here, this looks like a failed campaign. Okay, uh, I spent 11,394 to make 11,906 based on Google's tracking right here. This is obviously not great. This is, this is not what we wanna see in our campaigns. And if I go through here, I can check all my conversions right here. Now I was selling a product that had a $2,000 cart sale. So if I come through here and look at this, what I'm actually going to start noticing is that there's constantly places, if I look at my high roast tracking right here where I've plugged in my tracking, that the reporting is way off. It says I spent a thousand right here to make nothing, I actually had a two thousand dollar sale. Uh, I go right here and I look at the cost right here, it says I made nothing, I had a 597 sale which is worth three thousand dollars in payment plans. Goes right here, again, uh, says I don't have any sales, I have a payment plan sale right here, again, Right here, conversion value zero uh, for $220 spent, uh, $2,000, 2,500, three sales almost, or I had two sales in this day were caught. Okay, this is blasphemy right here. And if, and if we go look inside the Hyros dashboard itself, we can just see how silly this gets, okay? Because right now in Google, just in this example right here, reported $11,000 in uh, about, the cost right here about $11,000 spent, there's actually $22,000 in revenue and that's not even including all the payment plans and whatnot coming in. There's almost around a $30,000 profit day when everything is all said and done. And I'm not even tracking the LTV yet, which I can easily track and hire. So I can see how many payment plans come in from this original amount of ad spend, but let's just go in and look at the actual stats right here. You can see there's so many instances, you see every part of green right here, report versus revenue. This is where Google failed to report how many sales I had and let's just look if we base decisions off of Google right here, okay? So if we look at how much Google report on this one, 3030 auto list, we reported $199 in sales, okay? This thing right here is literally generating me $1,500 a day in near profit at this point. If I turn this off right here, I'm going to be losing $45,000 a month in sales. And the reason why I couldn't scale before is simply because I would go in, look at these results from Google and turn it off, boom. $50,000 a month out of my pocket right there. 
And again, to get these stats, all I'm going to do is just go load up after connecting in the Hyros, load up the stats based on the dates I want to look at. That's it. Or I can just even more simply look at the dates already displayed in the Chrome extension. I don't even have to log in the dashboard. I can just see everything right here laid out. Pow. Very, very easy. Again, another one right here. Spent $300, did around $2,000 in sales. I'm just going to be rounding up here just for the sake of it, okay? We did $19.97, but for the rest of the video, I'm just going to be rounding up because it's easier to understand. Again, I'm doing nearly $2,000 in profit right here. And what is so frustrating about this is if I turn this off, I'd be turning off a campaign that is generating me about $1,000 per day. If I turn off just these two campaigns right there, I have lowered my ROI or my revenue by nearly $70,000 a month. You can't scale like that. That is $70,000 a month, about $50,000 a month out of my pocket. What I need to be doing instead is saying, look at these massive profit margins and scaling these up. And the problem, the number one problem when it comes to scale, the thing that's going to catch you and trip you up more than anything is turning off your most profitable campaigns or not scaling your most profitable campaigns because you don't see the sales coming in. This is an absolute pandemic when it comes to tracking because the way ad platforms track, while it's great for what it is, a one-size-fits-all tracking solution, it is not capable of diving into your business the way it needs to be to actually verify this and track the sales correctly. You're going to see this across call funnels. You're going to see this across webinar funnels, e-commerce funnels, SaaS businesses. We're not even getting into the long-term tracking right here where I can actually see the LTV of my sales. For example, every one of these customers that came in, I can go and track their LTV and Hyros, and I'll get into this in a future video and see that they spend way more passes. So this original ad spend right here that actually was spent, this $1,000 right here spent for the initial $3,000 in revenue is actually closer to five to 6,000 when I look at the LTV stats and track everything these customers bought going in the future because they're gonna buy other products. They're going to complete their payment plans and they're going to keep doing business with me for hopefully years. So this thousand dollars right here could go on and generate me $8,000 or more. So I need to be scaling this up even more based on the LTV, the long-term value of the customers. And this right here is the most basic way to scale. It doesn't need to be super complicated. Turn up the ads that are profitable, turn off the ads that are not profitable. And the easiest way to kill ads that you can scale massively is to miss that they are massively profitable. That's it, if you just spot the ads that are actually profitable, congratulations, you have 80% of the problem solved, you can scale much further. Now in the videos below, I'm gonna be getting into call funnel and e-commerce examples, so check those out. But if I'm gonna use this data right here, what am I gonna do? It's really simple. This ad campaign right here, I'm spending around $500 per day. Maybe kick this up to $750 a day. This ad campaign right here, that generated me almost $1,600 in profit, spending about $150 a day. Maybe kick it up to $300 a day. It's that damn simple. And that little tiny decision right there of turning this ad off, turning this ad off, they were both reporting on profitable, completely changed my business. And this is what allowed me to scale to $25,000 a day because I never missed a campaign that was profitable. I also never missed a campaign that was not profitable due to the misattribution, which we'll talk about in future videos. But I spotted every single campaign coming in. On top of that, I could see the long-term values of the customers, which I'll get into in another video, another feature video, which if you're viewing this at a later date is linked to below this video. I've linked the entire Hyro scaling and saving course below this video. But again, once I actually look at the LTV right here and see I'm making way more than this initial $3,000, I scaled even further. And that's how I got it to fifteen dollars to $25,000 a day in ad spend very easily. And why I couldn't before, because I'd be turning off the campaigns that worked. If you turn off campaigns that work, you're not gonna make much money, period. So check out the e-commerce and call funnel videos below. Also, check out the rest of our scaling and saving course below. I go and do tons of advanced features on how to scale, save money and count use the analysis to make some really good decisions that make your business so much more profitable. This is how everybody gets results. This is why everybody uses Hyros. It's all laid out below this video as well. On top of that, I've also provided courses to a full YouTube training course, a full Facebook ad scaling course that goes way beyond Hyros. So you should also check those out as well. There's so much good information on this blog on top of the scaling courses for Hyros that I've put below. So that being said, check out the other videos and I'll see you around the dashboard and also in your email, we're gonna be mailing you new tactics you can use with Hyros all the time.